Hello and welcome back to my channel. So if you're watching this video, then the chances is it's because you're experiencing a problem with getting your data from your smartphone on to your computer. You're probably connecting your smartphone to the computer and nothing's happening. Don't worry, millions and millions of people around the world experience this problem. So hopefully this video is going to help you fix this problem that you're experiencing. So let's have a look at some of the things it is that you can do to fix this problem. Number one, restart your computer and restart your mobile phone. Sometimes technology just needs you to restart in order to be able to use it again. Now, if restarting your computer and mobile phone doesn't work, then the second thing you could do is you could take the battery out of your smartphone for, let's say, 20 seconds. Hopefully, this will clear anything within the smartphone that may be, you know, conflicting with the problem at hand. Now, if the removing the battery for 20 seconds thing don't work, then the next possibility is that it may be your USB cable. Now, a lot of people don't understand that USB cables can actually fracture the wires inside or they may not actually have transfer cables inside the cable itself. For example, if you buy a cheap charger off eBay or Amazon, then that might be exactly what you're getting. You're just getting the charger, the positive and the negative wires within the actual USB cable. And you may not be getting the data transfer wires. This is how manufacturers keep their costs low and it's how you get a cheap charger. So it would be worth experimenting with swapping and using a different USB cable to see if that rectifies the problem. Now, if that doesn't rectify the problem, then the fault may lie with the USB port itself. So you could now try and use a different USB port. I actually have to use different USB ports on my computer because, I don't know, they're quite frankly, some of them are faulty. So if the USB port fix doesn't work, then now what you can do is you can go on to the developers option. So if you've gone through the whole thing and, you know, tapped your phone like seven times and gone to the developers uh options mode then what you can do is you can switch that off now by switching that off hopefully hopefully that is now going to allow you to access your usb folder when you connect it to your computer however if the development def uh, sorry developer options doesn't work then another thing you can do is try and use the developer options to your own advantage. So you'd switch on developers options and then you would go to, let me get it, USB debugging. So you'd find the USB debugging option and you would switch that on. Now this option allows developers to transfer data from their smartphone over to their computer. So hopefully, hopefully that may fix your problem. Now there's one thing where I can say if this problem, you know, persists in the future with regards to videos, music, etc., then it may be worth storing all your information onto a mini SD card. Because therefore, if you can't connect to the computer from your smartphone, okay, what you could do is always take the SD card out of your smartphone and connect that to the computer via uh, an adapter or something. But guys, you know, that's my recommendations for hopefully trying to fix this problem. So I'll run, run over them quickly once again. So the very first option is to restart your mobile phone and restart your computer. Hopefully that will fix the problem. If it doesn't fix the problem, then your next option is to take the battery out of the mobile phone, cell phone, for about 20 seconds, 
put the bike in, restart everything, and hopefully it will work. If it doesn't work still, then please do try a different USB cable. Sometimes it's the USB cable. If that still doesn't fix the problem, then you can switch off the developer's options mode if you've got that on. If that doesn't fix the problem, try and use developer's options to your own advantage and switch on USB debugging. And if that still doesn't work, then there may be something wrong with something inside your phone and you would have to see if you can get it fixed at your local mobile phone cell phone repair shop anyway guys i hope this video helps some of you i know it's not going to help all of you but i do hope it helps some of you solve this very irritating problem which millions of us have around the world take care and i'll see you all in the next video